Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I don't know. I'm just trying to say hi to you guys because, um, yeah, I love YouTube and I love all my fans and we're almost at 20,000 subscribers. So I'm super happy. And in the process, we're going to do some sarcastic content that I hope you guys enjoy as well. I don't know. Today I'm kind of off my game, so I can't promise you the, some, the most sarcastic content I've ever produced, but we can give it a shot. So if you don't mind, I guess kick back. Grab a drink. Nothing stronger than water, though. And enjoy the next five minutes of dry humor. So what do we have here? We have the King of Crapalon Castle Skin Survey. And I have to admit that if there was any survey that um, these guys actually might survey people and stuff like that, they I previewed this. It's not actually that bad. So being off my game combined with it not actually being that bad of a survey... I don't really get to poke too much fun at them. But there is a spoiler at the end. Or, well, it's not a spoiler at the end. There is a, there is one question at the end, which kind of sums up our relationship. And I don't mean, like, my relationship with you and YouTube. I love you guys. This is, like, great. I mean the relationship between King of Avalon, the studio, and us. So let's just kind of skip the, the commentary and kind of jump into it. Do you know there are castles in the game? Yes, I know there are castles in the game. I've seen them before. What's your favorite castle? Winter Wonderland. Haunted Castle of Christmas, original one, a lion skin. Mm. Carnival Easter, mysterious. None of the above, or I don't know there are strongholds in the game. Well, we kind of covered the whole I, I question about strongholds, question A, but hey, let's be redundant. The Alliance skin, I have to admit, I, I'm not sure what that one is. I think they meant anniversary. I think that's a typo. And to be honest with you, I actually kind of dig the anniversary skin. That anniversary two skin, I'm hoarding it. I would love to use like permanent and like keep it and have my little balloons all the time. But mm, it lasts for like a day. So I don't dare use it. I have to hoard it and keep it. Maybe if we win another conquest, I'll get another one and I'll use it for one day. I think that's what it lasts for. Maybe like a day or seven days or something. like. That. Anyway, it's temporary and I don't have many of them, so I'm not using the one I have. It would be for a special occasion. So, none of the above. Because I think Alliance skin means anniversary, but anyway. So, I would like the current skin. It, it It's it's not bad. I mean, from like, you know, Red Lobster or Demon Lobster compared to like White Spooge and the other ones. You know, I mean, it's it's not bad. It Unfortunately, though, they just copy and pasted it with a small adjustment from Guns of Glory. So they should have put, what's your favorite castle skin from Guns of Glory so that we can just import it, charge you money, and save time. That's what they should have asked because, well, whatever. Do you want new ones? Mm, yes, I do, in fact. And I've asked for them several times. And I am actually, I need to say thank you, ladies and gentlemen, at the Shit Plus Studio for... Um, making this happen. So I think that if it wasn't for me bugging them a long time and, and some of the internal people supporting me and bugging them that they think this is a good idea, it, it wouldn't have happened. So you guys can blame me. I'm going to just take all the credit for it. And I want more. And I think that you guys want more too. There's going to be a catch. If there's going to be some new skins, which one would you prefer? They didn't have any naked lady options. So I just had to pick from the choices that they gave me. And I'm actually being sincere about what I want. Um, I'm this, this B fantasy style, like unicorns and dragons, I think people would really dig that. I really do. But if I had to choose between unicorns and dragons or these other ones, um, I think unicorns and dragons loses out. I'm sorry, guys. I know I should probably have like rainbows and blinking stuff. You remember like the blinking HTML text that everybody loved in like the early... Like, like the late 90s. Remember that blinking text? Some of you guys might be too young for that. But they had this blinking HTML text and people loved it. It still works in browsers. I'm sure I could make an HTML plays with a lot of blinking stuff. And if you didn't get a seizure from it, you loved it. So there we go. I know, unicorns and dragon. I, I can't pick more than three. See, it says do not pick more than three. So I picked the three that I'm going with. Dolphins. Mm -hmm. Like Zeus, uh, maybe, uh, uh, constellation, other. Um, I'm not going to give many ideas. they got to think of their own. Do you prefer a permanent skin or a temporary one? Now, here's, here's an important thing. If they're going to be producing content every month, new skins, 
I would like, uh, here's my, my absolute honest impression of what I would like, or opinion of what I would like. I want a permanent skin so that I can set it and I can leave it until something better comes along or something that catches my eye. Maybe not better, something equivalent, but anyway, the new thing. So I like permanent just because it, it lets me have that freedom. I don't have to worry about like refreshing it, looking like a scrub, but going back to the default after seven days, I'm looking at you Easter. Um, so yeah, I think it's, it's permanent is, is good. Don't, don't tease me. It's, you know, I, I don't put up with this in my personal life and I definitely don't want to put up in the game. Don't tease me. I want it permanent. Um, and here is the question I was referring to at the beginning and yeah, would you like to pay for these if offered as a permanent skin? And you're going to pay for it. Let's not mince words. One way or the other, it's going to cost money. Now, here's what I don't like. The, like the Easter, there was like two skins. There's like Easter and some other BS. And you had to um, buy the chests. You had to buy a lot of them. I mean, if you weren't buying like... $500, $600, $700 of these stupid chests with BS in them, then you were not getting the permanent version. So I've got like 52 weeks of temporary Easter skins or something like that. I can't remember which one it was. So I've got like 52 weeks of temporary Easter skins and I could just, and it made me really hot under the skin because it's, it's gambling and it's expensive and it's a skin. I mean like, so we're talking price. Now Shit Plus, please listen. Do not charge more than $50 for a skin. Thank you very much. This is not, I have an SH40 and $100,000 sitting in the bank and I just want to buy a skin. Skin economy in games is not for rich people. Okay, listen to me. I say it again. Skin should be like 99 cents, like a sticker pack. $5, $10, $50 is like maximum. So... Stop, stop dicking around. Don't, don't charge a hundred. Don't put it behind some gambling mechanic where I got to spend like $600 in order to get it. That kind of stuff makes me grumpy. You don't actually advocate people to use it. Look at the skin I have now. Um, I look around my kingdom. There's not a single person sporting that except for me. Now, if you made it five, 10, 15, 20, a dollar, you'd see everybody have it. So you can capture 400 grumpy dollars from revenge, or you could capture $400 from happy people by making it a buck. Something to think about, Shit Plus. I bet you 400 people would probably buy it if you made it that cheap. So yeah, it's mechanics. Now let's talk about some more things. Do you want happy users? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not talking to YouTube now. I'm talking to the... Sh Bliss Studio. Do you want happy users? You make content and you should make it available. You have either exclusive content like, hey, I just killed everybody in KVK and I got ranked two, I get a special skin. Or you make it like for everybody to enjoy. So there's exclusive content and then there's like content that you make for the masses. And this copy and paste thing that you did from Guns of Glory, that's something that everybody knows what it is. It probably didn't take you too much time. The overhead was minimal. You guys can turn a 10,000 profit on it, 10,000% profit on it, if you just reduce the price and just let it let a lot of people use it. Because I think people will go crazy. They would buy it like, you know, five, 10 bucks, a dollar. I know it's an amazing concept for these, these greedy suckers with their mega yachts. But I do. I think that, that people would enjoy it. So that's my final answer. There we go. So I love you guys. Really? 20,000 subscribers. We started this journey a while ago. And I am i must admit, I'm looking at the counter. I'm waiting for it. I want to do something special at 20. I don't know what it's going to be. I really do. 100,000 on get like a something from YouTube. But that'll take us like 15 years. So, um, yeah. We'll dream about that later. Anyway, we're going to wrap this up. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was maybe some sarcastic humor. Maybe you laughed. Maybe you didn't. Maybe you cried. Maybe you just want to hit that thumbs down button. Or you could hit thumbs up. Either way, I still love you guys. So this is Revenge. That's all for now. Okay, bye-bye.